Giving us the perspective of the first day and just speaking about the innovation for sustainable growth when it comes to global insurance industry. All right. Now, earlier this year, the Kenyan government unveiled a plan to employ over 200,000 seafarers by 2027, significantly increasing the current workforce of approximately 11,600. However, the industry continues to face various challenges that must be address, uh, addressed. Now, to ensure that well-being of the maritime workers, speaking in Nairobi, Principal Secretary for Shipping and Maritime Affairs, Geoffrey Kaituko, has emphasized the importance of a greater involvement from seafarers' unions and councils in safeguarding workers' rights. Most of us who are going in the new generation of seafarers, we are, we are quite young, so they should really consider, you know, easy rates, uh, mortgages, uh, credit rates uh, in, in terms of uh, the interest. The PRC to as a to invest, bring back the money. We have, uh, uh, physically speaking, a good environment to invest back at home. Okay, most of the countries are Philippines and Indonesians. So there's this tendency of either color, they don't, they don't like our color, they don't like our hard work, facing a lot of discrimination. But uh, since we really... Uh, join, many of us are really joining to the ship and uh, we getting the we giving each other the warmth and right now everything is running smooth I guess. It's good that we are encouraged to those people who are recruiting PR or come up now whereby they can advise those people, maybe those who feel like how easy manage kupata easy pesa wa the process. We are encouraged PR or come up now whereby they can be helped in terms of their processing of their documentation. Kenya is a signatory to the Maritime Labor Convention of 206, which obligates us to <clears throat> ensure that the highest standards are observed of, of ensuring that Kenyans, uh, Kenyan seafarers who, in this case, uh, are recruited by other, by other countries or vessels of other countries are, are protected and their welfare safeguarded. All right, now Kenya among 10 African countries is set to benefit from an agribusiness exhibition in Russia. The Asia Expo 2024 will bring together economies that depend on agriculture to spur the economic growth. Now the exhibition is a platform for African countries to get new methods of boosting food production as Russia and other Asian states to display latest technologies being used in dairy, poultry, horticulture and manufacturing of fertilizers. Other African countries at the Expo will be South Africa, Egypt, Nigeria and Tanzania, among others. Africa has a huge potential for the economic growth. Human, energy, agriculture and other resources. In my opinion, first step for develop African agriculture is to build processing plants and factories which will push another sectors of economic. The main goal for African company is to get new and modern technology in agriculture, livestock, poultry, aquaculture, machinery. The second goal is to find producers from Russia for buying agricultural products, meat, milk, meal, feed, veterinary equipment and other products. And third target is to find company which would like to invest in African economy. Now, property worth millions of shillings was destroyed following an early morning fire incident in Kerugoya that razed down the Juakali premises in the town. The fire started at around 2 a.m. 